We acknowledge Mother Earth for all the things that were given to us, our shelter, our food, recreation, our work, and all the things that we love doing. And so here we are, a national training of volunteers from across the country to be our mapping exercise facilitators. We need more and more tools, learning tools. We need to come at the issues in a whole variety of ways. This mapping exercise is primarily a reflective exercise and uh, the reflective experience is, is really basically about that sacred relationship, about being on the land with others. I'm only one person. I know only my own experience, but not that of others. I can only give a small part of my own truth. I'm here to learn. Back in the 15th century, we had a particular way of thinking, and that influenced the way we lived in the world. The Pope issued a decree which gave explorers the right to claim lands that they discovered for their Christian monarchs. If the lands were deemed vacant, then they could be defined as discovered and claimed. There are some 618 First Nations, 53 Inuit communities, and the Métis peoples who have lived for millennia in Turtle Island. So let us see what people's Turtle Islands holds and nurtures. Northwest coastal peoples, the Haida, the Clinket, Simpshian, the Dekel or Carrier, Nicola, Sewepnik, Statlium, Okanagan, and the Tunaha. The Plains Ojibwe, Sioux, and Dakota. Inuit, Copper Inuit, Netsilik Inuit, Baffin Island Inuit, and Iglulik. The Métis people. I'd like to invite everyone now to behold the map. But I noticed as some of you were coming onto the map, you were trying very hard not to step on the paper. And part of the point of this is to stand on the paper and to feel what it's like to stand on land that is so clearly not empty. This is the holy land of the people that you see the names here. This is their sacred land. If you have to get to know me, if we're going to be partners, from learning the history on indigenous peoples, this gives you your own history. It shows you where you come from. You are you in, in this. Um, it's, as Esther says, your story. Yeah. If you haven't yet already and would like to, I invite you now to join the map where your ancestors would have arrived in this land of northern Turtle Island. Turn to the people who are nearest to you and in the context of this exercise, introduce yourself and just talk briefly about who you are and where you're from. I'm a second generation born in Winnipeg, but I'm a fourth generation born in Canada. I'm not sure. I think I'm third generation Canadian. My great-grandfather came from Northern Ireland. And I stayed for three years and then I went out west to BC and then the second time was in 85. Okay. Yeah. But I moved, I live now in eastern Canada amongst the, the Mi'kmaq. I'm going to bless each of you in Cree so you can go in a good way. Thank you.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, let us walk in with you. 